Hey guys, I'm Troy Loretta, and you're on the set of my Yamaha Axis photo shoot. I first fell in love with music when I was six. I remember it was at my aunt's place. My mom um, left me, she was babysitting me, and she had a piano, it's like an upright piano. It was a Yamaha piano. And um, my cousin taught me how to play Mary Had a Little Lamb and um, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So from then on, I wanted to um, take piano and I forced my mom to buy me um, this really extravagant, like we couldn't afford it, we put payments on it. It was like a old school like Yamaha, I think it was like a G series grand piano and from then on she made me practice eight hours a day. She's like, you're gonna, you asked me to buy this so we're gonna, you know, put you in lessons and you're gonna practice eight hours a day. <laughs> That's how I fell in love with it. You know when I moved to LA, I actually wanted to be an artist. I was in a group with my sister and we used to do a lot of um, you know, weddings and all the parties back in Hawaii. I've always been comfortable like directing the band when it came to doing anything with my sisters. While I was in school, I was able to play with a lot of bands and I you know, became like MD for a lot of it. And I went to MI, Musicians Institute. It really um, kind of paved the way for me to become like, you know, do what I do now, which is musical directing. Musical directing, um, you know, obviously it's the person that kind of puts together the band and puts together the music, but it's more than that, I think. I think that it also requires you to understand your artist, to really study your artist, to know what he or she likes, and I think that um, combined, you know, obviously with the musical aspect of it. MD's job is to bring a good group of musicians and to, you know, make it not about like individual people, but as a group and to make music together. Yeah, right now I'm on tour with Ariana Grande on the Honeymoon Tour. It's an amazing tour. She's one of my favorite artists. It's just such a joy to work with. And yeah, it's going to be a, we're in it for the long haul. One of my first workstations was the original, like, Motif 8. So um, what I love about it is the consistency of it. And, you know, Yamaha makes some of the finest grand pianos. And I feel like out of all the companies that make you know, keyboards. I think that Yamaha has got it right in terms of the sound and the feel in it. When I go to like a motif, what I love about it is that I know what to expect. Um, the feel is great. It sounds amazing. Like, I think consistency and not having any surprises. You know, a lot of people come up with new products, but with Yamaha, it's so consistent and so, and you know what you're gonna get. And me coming from a classical background, I used to play on a lot of Yamaha and, you know, grand pianos and stuff. So the motif really is like the next best thing to a grand piano. Thanks for watching guys, hope to see you at the next show.